Hello and welcome to a long overdue uh, kind of next episode of uh, Knowledge Enthusiast. As you know, in the past we commented on various different, um, mainly historical videos from Oversimplified to Salmonella amongst others. And uh, yeah, there was a little break now, <laughs> uh, again. Uh, a few months and um, uh, this is due to much uh, work I, I have to earn money somehow and um, the uh, editing the videos and uh, recording the videos is very very difficult and very very time intensive so uh, I just hadn't the time nor the um, the drive to do so uh, but instead, I want to shift the focus of the channel a little bit, uh, where no uh, fancy researched uh, text box is uh, present, but instead talk about uh, that what I know the most about, and that's uh, my home country, Germany. So as you might have seen, this video is titled Why Everything on YouTube is Almost Wrong. Like something like this. I haven't decided yet as of recording how I will title this video. Uh, and this will be um, the start of a series where I will um, comment on... Um, you know, YouTube is full of um, creators who uh, live in Germany and come from abroad or vice versa who come from Germany and now live abroad and share their experiences or do videos like differences between um, Germany and the US or wherever they come from. Um, the most well-known of those might be Feli from Germany who comes from Bavaria and do, um, has done various videos uh, about the topic and which will be one of the first um, we will take a look at. Uh, so this video is, is like a pilot uh, to uh, clear the ground a little bit and tell you why exactly it is that so many um, videos, even from Germans, uh, but also from all others, um, get Germany so wrong. And I don't mean that in a, in a despicable way or in a um, disrespectful way, but just because of they come from a certain place in Germany, uh, they may have traveled a bit, but they only have the um, experience of themselves, well as those who come to Germany from the US, from Great Britain, from Canada, from whatever, um, who only experience mostly um, their close uh, vicinity. And this is why so much you might learn about culture shocks and behavior in Germany is just wrong. The reason or the main reason for this is, as you might have expected, uh, historical. And uh, some of you may have seen uh, how Germany was looking like before it became Germany in uh, 1871, which was, I, I don't speak about the, the Rhine Confederation uh, for, um, after Napoleon, the stuff like that. I speak, of course, of the Holy Roman Empire, um, which lasted for about a thousand years and um, is responsible for the fact that uh, Germany is... You, you can't just generalize Germany. Um, you might have seen those maps with uh, many, many, many different uh, countries within the empire. Um, at its peak, there were about like 1600 to 2000 um, different regions in Germany who all had their different cultures, uh, some even their own languages uh, or variations of uh, the language, uh, who all developed very differently and uh, who all um, just came together uh, in 1871, which was the first time that a unified Germany uh, existed with um, from then on kind of shared culture, shared history, uh, but still vastly different amongst the regions. Like the US, um, Germany consists of several um, federal states, 
Uh, in, in Germany's case, this is uh, 16 states, three of which are cities, uh, ma namely uh, Berlin, Hamburg and Bremen, uh, including Bremerhaven, which is like an exclave of the exclave. Uh, or, no, it's not an exclave. It's the exclave of the enclave Bremen. Bremen is an enclave in uh, North Rhine-Westphalia and uh, is physically uh, separated from Bremerhaven, um, which also has to do with history. This is the main reason why, why so much is wrong, because the uh, history and culture is not only um, different between all those 16 um, states, it's also different within these states, like uh, Lübeck and Kiel are uh, in the same state, they are both in Schleswig-Holstein. Um, but Lübeck has a way different history, a way different culture than Kiel might have, uh, which has mostly to do with the fact that uh, Kiel was long time Danish and Lübeck was always somewhat its own thing, like um, Hamburg. Um, well, it was for a long time a city state like Hamburg and uh, Berlin and Bremen are now. Uh, it lost this statehood after the Second World War and uh, was founding member of the Hanse, the Hanseatic League. Uh, if you don't know what that is, we have a video on this channel about the Hans uh, Hanseatic League. Um, and I won't bore you with uh, any of that now. You see, because of these up to 2000 little regions um, that existed at one point or another, uh, even the like 800-ish or 300-ish you see in the uh, most depictions in the late Roman uh, uh, Empire, uh, Holy Roman Empire, I mean, um, they are very different. Like cities like um, Cologne and Düsseldorf are very, very close um, to each other, uh, to each other. But even they have very different um, cultural things going on. Like both may celebrate Carnival, but uh, in in uh, Cologne uh, they say like Kölle Alav, and in Düsseldorf they say Kölle Helau. Uh, Düsseldorf hello sorry <laughs> um, and even other cities might have other things um, they say and that's only one point of what they uh, what, what differentiate differentiates them uh, it also has to do with uh, religion um, with the 30 years war and the uh, split of religion uh, which was at one point, uh, a chaos because uh, some emperor just said, okay, uh, every single duchy, dukedom, uh, bishopry, what, whatever, can choose their own faith. So you had um, countries within the empire that were Protestant, some were uh, Catholic, some even um, lost the religion whatsoever which is mostly um, something that is going on since the uh, since the Second World War, especially in Eastern Germany. And all this together, then the type of, of um, government they had, where they governed by a duke or um, some other kind of um, aristocracy, or where they governed by the church itself, because many, many, many uh, German uh, regions were directly governed by um, bishops or priests um, because they um, got that land from the emperor um, which uh, is going back to the um, whole shenanigans going on between the German emperor and the Roman pope uh, in the early uh, early stages of the of the last century uh, not century last millennia and stuff and stuff and stuff so all these differences um, mean that uh, all you learn uh, about Germany on YouTube um, might be slightly too heavily wrong, uh, especially if you generalize those um, things. So if you uh, want to come to Germany and, and want to live here or want to visit here and you look maybe one or two of those videos, you might think um, that the things you learn in these videos are general for every area you go to and might even be scared of going here now or 
um, might have your shock when you arrive here and it's completely different. That's why um, I will do this um, series um, starting this week, this Friday, you will get the first video, the first proper video um, of that series where we just talk about um, uh, the experiences of others, where we comment on that, uh, the, those experiences, we watch those videos um, and I will tell you uh, everything that is wrong about them, like I was cinema since, but without the sim counter. That's uh, pretty much it. Um, this is all I have planned for, for this video. And by planned, I mean I just speak off the top of my head right now. I have no script or something. Um, I just thought I want to do those comment videos. And I also um, want to do this video, which will be about 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, and if you like content like that, or if you um, enjoy um, historical reactions, then you are free to subscribe, um, free to leave a like, uh, free to leave a comment. You can ask me anything you want about um, Germany or even history. Um, I will get back to those comments. Um, I will answer them as faithful as I can. And yes, so. See you next time. Until then, I was Aussie Eastbourne. <laughs>